Hi, this is letter this is letter 11 of the series Letters Back to God. This one specifically is about uh, con men, can't be Christians, or false prophets, or fake Christians. Uh, and I did a disclaimer at the beginning of this one. Um, this is not supposed to be an attack on anybody and whatnot. Um, this is just something I've observed through my walk with faith and how it's, it's changed from... Uh, where I was, where I was like, I'd use the Bible for my own advantage and get my own point across versus like now where it's like, God, what are you trying to teach me? Um, instead of what can I get out of it in a sense, um, for my own agenda. Um, second, um, as much as it's important that it's like my brothers and sisters in Christ, um, hold me accountable and I hold them accountable. Christ is my first accountability partner. He will be the first one that I will go to when I have questions, when I'm struggling with something and he will always be the first one that I go to, regardless of whether I have a wife or my brothers or anybody. Um, Christ needs to be the first in my life. Um, but reading this, um, reading this passage and looking back at my past, um, it's become glaringly obvious where I fell short um, before. Let me just read it. Um, but this is uh, Matthew, Matthew 7, um, 15, 15 to 20. Um, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but um, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By their fruits you will be able to recognize them. Um, do people not pick grapes? Do people pick grapes from uh, thorn bushes or figs from uh, thistles? Um, likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, and every bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear good fruit, and a, ba or a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit should be cut down and thrown into the fires. Thus, you will know them by their, um, by their fruits. And looking back to where I was, where it was like I'd, um, I'd use verses to try to fill my own agenda. Um, or like here's another, here's one I, I heard somebody say where it was like, um, oh, I can't, I can't receive any uh, helpful information by women. It's like, where do you get that from? It's like, oh, the Bible. Well, First Timothy said that women in church should be silent. It's like, it's like that's totally out of context. Totally out of context, and that's pushing your own sexist agenda where it's like, oh, I can't learn from a woman. Well, women have, women are incredibly intelligent. They have a lot to say. They have a different perspective of men, so that way we can see a different perspective on any given subject. Why are you going to shut down half of the population because of your one of your one verse? Because um, even going through Luke, like there was not a prophet, but there was a woman, Anna, um, and she was even doing the Lord's work. So why are you going to shut down half? Uh, it's just silly. It's a silly perspective. And, um, I don't ever want to have one of those perspectives again. And that's where it's like being surrounded by so many good Christians right now that are also educated and are also seeking the Lord on their own and with one another. That makes that process incredibly, um, incredibly important. Because, um, uh, because, um, with a con man, with their bad fruit, like some of the things you can tell is like fake forgiveness. Oh, I forgive you. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Like one of the fake forgivenesses, um, by the flesh rather than the spirit is, it can be found in Samuel. Like when Samuel, um, or when David was playing the harp and saw through the spear at him and I uh, threw three times three times and every time Saul was sorry his flesh was sorry and like oh um uh, I'm so sorry David I threw a spear at you I, I keep doing it it's like what are you doing it's like because you're still going after your flesh and the reason how you can spot a con man pretty easily is they they chase their flesh and they don't chase the spirit and you can clearly see this especially the more you get to know the spirit. You can clearly see this more and more as time goes on because the flesh is inconsistent. Um, the flesh is always wanting to chase, um, like when you're a kid, you chase candy. When you're a teenager, you chase sex. When you're an adult, maybe you chase alcohol, whatever your vice is. It's like the flesh will always want to chase pleasure and the spirit always wants to chase purpose. The spirit always wants to chase a relationship. Um, and you can clearly tell their their purpose like a con christian basically um like if you're in a relationship and the guy's always trying to be like oh but sex outside of marriage isn't that bad like everybody does it and whatnot so it's it's, it's kind of whatever it's like no it's not it's sexual immorality and 
it's like the closer you get to the spirit, the more, again, the more you want to avoid those sexual, like, or those, those sins, um, because you want to just produce good fruit and your attitude and your actions and your fruit will show that. Um, but, uh, here's another analogy. I never want to be, um, let's say, let's say, um, the Bible is the ingredients for delicious cookies, right? Um, and this is how the devil works, by the way. Like I've seen it so many times. So the devil takes the truth. The devil takes what is true. And, um, like, let's say he's making a batch of cookies. Okay. He's making a batch of cookies and he puts rat poison in it. The cookies were fine by themselves, but then the cookies were fine by themselves. But then the devil comes in and, and uses a little bit of trickery, um, use a white lie, uses truth to feed his agenda, that's when you can get poisoned. That's when you can get hurt. That's when you become sick, where it's like you're reading the Bible and you're trying to add stuff or take away stuff or um, or listening to false prophets or whatnot. Like um, there's a there's a pastor that was like, oh, I wish I wish God made gender uh, easy, that he made A, B, and C. You probably know the pastor I'm talking about, but he's like, a, like I wish he made it A, B, and C and that he made like sexuality fluid and, and whatnot. It's like, well, he didn't. And that's you adding something that shouldn't be there. That's the rat poison in the cookie. That's the, um, that's the devil trying to tell Eve that, Hey, if you eat this fruit, you'll be like God. It's like, well, yeah, we, we were like God because we became aware of sin and, uh, but it ended up causing us so much harm and misery all these years later. And I never want to be that, but also on top of that, I want to look out for it in other people so I can maybe help them before they get to a point of, of hurting somebody else. Um, one of the, ah, oh, shoot. I forget what I was going on, but anywho, um, anywho, um, that's kind of, that's kind of it, uh, for now. If I think of anything, uh, oh, I wanted to go off of a uh, change, but I think I'll do that in another video. I also want to talk about worship and, um, uh, how, um, and how, and how my, I don't want to say enlightenment, that sounds almost cringy, but how my understanding of faith and worship has changed, um, over this, specifically this past month, and it's, it's great, it's wonderful, I can't wait to share it, anyway, um, let me pray, um, dear God, uh, thank you for guiding my steps, um, continue to guide my steps with the Holy Spirit, continue to, um, show me Jesus' character as an example, and, um, continue to be the authority figure in my life as God. Um, as I go through my life and as I go through these scriptures, um, please bring more knowledge to my life for knowledge without you is dead. Um, and let me be a blessing to others. Um, fill me with the joy and the strength of the Holy Spirit so that any challenge that comes my way will immediately face you before it even has a chance to get to me. Um, I trust your will. I trust where you're taking me. Um, and in Jesus' name, amen. Um, adios. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, I'll probably end up doing another video about this more uh, later because I feel like I left some stuff out, but um, it was just on my heart right now. And uh, I wanted to not get it done, but uh, share what I'm learning so far. But I know I still have much more to learn about... Um, truly understanding the character of God. This is just all a process, obviously. Um, that's what these are to help with. But adios, have a great day, um, and I'll see you in the next one.